Hello everyone, I am the Lonely Hunter, back with a pretty random gameplay, with a pretty unintentional gameplay, because here I was playing with a friend, trying to help him by supporting him with my streaks, as you see, I run non-lethal streaks, and uh, it ended up being a pretty good gameplay. I guess I am still hurt from the Moab, I still got this, and uh, this is why that was a pretty cool gun streak, and uh, I was close to the nuclear, but the curse still remains, the curse is yet to be lifted, and um, it stays here, I cannot still get a nuclear in Black Ops 2, I really want it, but I guess that this will not happen, I hope that I will get KM strikes in Call of Duty Ghosts, I hope that this will happen, and I hope that uh, I will be able to upload them here on YouTube, for you to see, and for me to make those moments great by putting some music on, or by just providing some comments commentary over them. Also, another thing, now let me talk about uh, brutality in video games a little bit, because um, I get a brutal medal, it is um, more than 25 gun streaks that I go, but I still don't get the nuclear, and uh, brutality in video games is something that I really miss, because uh, when Gears of War launched the overrun demo, I was playing that thing all day, every day. The game wasn't that great though, but uh, it was really gory and uh, I really liked that. I really like the blood, I really like the animations, the executions, and um, this is what makes me buy most of the games. Now, what Call of Duty lacks in the last years is making a gory game, is making a game that has a lot of blood, that has a lot of violence, and uh, this is something that I don't really like. Well, with the destruction of the map from the KEM strike my hopes are still up because you see the screen getting all red and shaky and uh, this is something that uh, I really look forward to, I really enjoy that effect and uh, Call of Duty used to be gory as well because uh, in World at War you had the dismemberment effect, uh, you had that thing that uh, enemies would bleed, that uh, they would lose arms and legs and uh, it was pretty great, I really loved that thing, and um, in other games you see that there are some effects that aren't that great. Well, when I was playing Halo, my biggest thing, the biggest thing that I would complain about is that confetti and that uh, childish cheer that I didn't really like, that was kind of annoying, because uh, when I was in a really serious and uh, intense gunfight, it was really bad to see the confetti pop up, that is my main issue with Halo, I enjoy the game a lot, I enjoy the gameplay, but that tiny detail, that thing is stuck in my brain, and uh, I really don't like it, so my hopes are up for future shooters, because I see that Titanfall will be kinda brutal with the mechs, throwing out the soldiers on the other side of the map, and uh, I would really like to see that happen many times, because I will be one of those annoying mech users, yeah, they will be kinda overpowered, and uh, I will be more happy to use them. So, in Call of Duty now, Call of Duty Ghosts, I guess, yeah, I guess that it will be kinda gory, it will have certain modes that uh, will contribute to that aspect of the game. First of all, you have the extinction mode, and uh, this is what I want to focus on, because I wasn't a really big fan of zombies, I didn't really want to focus on easter eggs, I didn't really focus on the story that much, I wasn't that interested, and uh, I couldn't really find where to go when I was playing zombies. That is why I want uh, a more streamlined experience, objective based again, with the extinction mode, facing off the aliens and trying to battle it out, and uh, I've seen some pictures and uh, they look pretty gory to me, at least I believe that uh, there is gonna be some blood shed on the battlefield that uh, humans will try to kill the aliens and uh, it is gonna be pretty epic, this is why I am really hoping that uh, extinction mode will be something great and uh, I will be playing it a lot, I will focus a lot on that mode, because yeah, multiplayer will be kinda like the same and um, I hope that uh, any enemies don't drop money like they did in MW2, because uh, that's gonna be kinda strange, again dropping money, what are they, millionaires walking on the battlefield, yeah, that would be kinda peculiar to face, and MW3 was kinda gory for me, 
but uh, this is just uh, a personal thing this is just uh, a thing that uh, i perceive as gory because i really enjoyed the chaos mode that uh, came later it was released later but it was really enjoyable and um, i really liked it personally the attempt to go for uh, a long streak the attempt to go for a huge bonus yeah that was a thing but the other thing is that you had a lot of enemies to go against and uh, even if there there wasn't such of a bloody battlefield, let's say, there wasn't such of a bloodbath going on, you could still kill a lot of enemies and yeah, your screen got fucked up most of the times from the grenades, from the special effects, from the stuns, from all those things popping on your screen and uh, that made the mode more intense. So, in my opinion, I prefer more gory, more fast-paced modes and uh, let me not forget my favorite moment that I believe is as gory, as intense and uh, as heart pounding that uh, it can be in Call of Duty is the Josefina mission in Black Ops 2. If you haven't played that one, that is one of the gems. I really like that one man going crazy facing everyone else and killing them. That was pretty amazing and pretty epic. That is why I believe that this is one of the top moments that uh, I believe is a thing that uh, I will remember from Call of Duty campaigns. So this is it with the gameplay, this is it with the commentary, it is coming to an end. What is your opinion about gore in video games, about blood in first person shooters? I'll see you guys later. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. I am out. Peace!